Chef of Senajak. You know, um, many of the old timers can remember this brand because it was brought in by one of the largest importers of Bordeaux into the United States, which was Chateau and Estates. And in the crisis of 2008, Chateau and Estates decided, eh, we're not bringing in any more Bordeaux. We do them directly. This is an estate that we've been followed for a long time. And the reason why is because uh, Chateau Saint Jacques is one of those estates that, that the, truly for the money is just an outstanding value. We probably carried every vintage of Chateau, uh, Chateau Saint Jacques probably for the last 10 years, but there's been a change. And that change is uh, kind of happened when the owners of the Chateau, which is owned actually by the same owners as Chateau Talbot, uh, brought in uh, Alfred Tesseron's winemaking team led by Jean-Michel Combe. Everything he does is biodynamics within, within his realm, converting all these vineyards into biodynamics. And those of you who don't know who, what biodynamics is, uh, it is like the most extreme farming that you can possibly do. It's taking organic farming to the next level. In 2017, they hired a, a man named Jean-Michel Laporte, a great taster. In fact, I've done a couple blind tastings with him in the crowd. The dude nails it every time. He was at Le Conscient pr prior to, you know, being at uh, uh, Chateau Talbot and Chateau Senegac. So the guy has like, he's got this like, like aura for, for, elegance. So you bring that elegance and you bring it to the Medoc. And all of a sudden you've got like a wine that's like really drinkable young, but it's got that Medoc terroir. So you know the wine's going to age really well. What he has done is he has brought the, palm, the elegance of Pomerol to, to the Medoc. I mean, this nose is just, it's very vibrant. And you know, for being in the Medoc, uh, it's 51% Cabernet Sauvignon, 30% Merlot, 11% Cabernet Franc, the rest Petit Verdot. So it's a, it's a really a true Bordeaux blend. This wine to me is the, it's the epitome of like a great Bordeaux that you could age for 10, 20 years, yet you can drink it now and it's 20 bucks. I mean, where in the world are you going to find something like this for 20 bucks? Seriously, multiple 90 point scores plus from all the pundits, you know what to do.